Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to rise on our feet and enter into a time of prayer. Hallelujah. Just want to speak in the language of the Spirit and begin to thank the Lord for life, His goodness, His grace, and His mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Oh Lord, we bless your name. We glorify your name. We thank you, oh Lord, for this time of prayer in your presence. We thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercies, and everything that you have done and you keep on doing in our lives. We are grateful, oh Lord, unto you, Emmanuel, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. We say be exalted tonight. We worship you, O Lord, with gladness. We shout unto you, O Lord, with shouts of joy. We worship you with gladness, O God, Father, tonight. We come before you with singing and with joy. We acknowledge that you are God. We acknowledge that you made us, O Lord, we are your people, the sheep of your pasture. Lord, we enter your gate with thanksgiving tonight, and we come before your courts with praise. We give you thanks, O oh God, and praise, and we praise thy holy name. We bless your name, Jesus. For the Lord is good, and his unfailing love continues forever and ever and ever. His faithfulness continues from each generation to generation. That's why tonight we have come to praise you. We have come to give you praise and thanks. We have come to exalt your holy name, Jesus. Iba bandi de bushanda la baba ya katala babu sukotolobo. Iba bandi de bushanda la baba. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. We thank you. Lord. We bless you. Lord. Oh, most high. Yes, you are the Lord. Most high. Oh, yes. You are the Lord, most I, most I, yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, most I, oh, yes, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, most I, yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, most high. Hallelujah. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are my God. You are my God, most high. You are my Lord. Yes, you are my healer. You are my provider. Oh, yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Most high. We want to pray and ask the Lord to take control and take charge over the service. Say, Father, let your spirit and your power take control. Come and minister to our heart. Bless our lives tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to lift your voice and pray. Ask the Lord to bless your life tonight. Ask the Lord to turn your life on. Ask the Holy Spirit to take free evidence and take control in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, 
Ikala papa ya tini bi antolo no busi katala papa iban kala papa ya kala brasha dana papa antolo busi katala papa iban papa kala la bra antolo no busha katala papa ya tini antala papa iban papa tini antolo no busi katala papa iban papa ya katini bi antini bi iban papa ya kala la bra antolo no busha kala papa ya ikatala papa antolo busi katiri andi iban la papa dana la pantolo shata that we bless our lives O Lord. Glorify yourself in tonight's service. Release your power and anointing, O Lord. Minister to your people tonight. I Baba Tere Mo Shanda La Baba. I Katala Baba Ya Tere Mo Shini. I Katala Baba Ya Katala Baba. I Baba Ndala Baba Tolo Mo Shanda La Baba. I Bala Baba Tere Mo Shani Ya Baba. I Katala Baba Tere Andi. I Ndala La Bran Ndala La Bran Tolo Mo Shanda. That you bless our lives tonight. You transform our lives tonight. Oh Lord, as we listen to your word, as we worship you, oh Lord, we ask the Lord you grace us, oh Lord. Father, with your presence and your power, speak to us and make touch our lives, oh God. Let us not leave your presence the same. Again, Lord, I Baba Tere Mo Shanda Tere Ya Baba, I Baba Kala Baba Tolo Mo Shanda La Baba, I Katala Baba Ya Tere Mo Shikiti, I Baba Kala La Baba Tolo Mo Shanda La Baba, I Baba La Baba Tolo Mo Shanda La Baba, I Baba Mo Shikiti, I Baba La Baba Ya Tere Mo Shanda La Baba, I Baba Mo Touch our lives, touch our lives, touch our lives. We receive your touch tonight. We receive your grace tonight. E Baba Tele Bushanda La Babaya. E Baba Tala Baba Tolo Bushiki. E Mama Masiki Libi and Dala Baba. E Bala Baba Tolo Bushi Akatari and Tala Babaya. E Mala Baba Tolo Bushi Kiti. E Mala Baba Yakatala Baba. Release your fire in your power with God. E Man Tele Bruski Katiri and Tala Baya Baba. E Mala Baba Tolo Bushi Katiri and Tilibi. E Baba Tolo Bushi Kala Baba Yakaba. E Bala Baba Shakiri Bushi Akala Babaya, in Malababan to the Bosia Talababaya, in Mantilia Tilia Talababaya, in Malababa Shandalababa to the Bosia Kataya, in Babaya to the Lobosi and Alababa. I katala baba ya tere bosi andala baba i mala baba ntolo bosi katala baba ya tere bria i mala baba ya katala baba ntolo bosi andala baba i baba ntala baba satala baba i kalolo bosi katala baba ya ntala baba i mala baba ntolo bosi katala baba ya i bantala baba ya ntolo lo bosi katari ntala baba i mala baba ntolo bosi ntala baba i kala baba ya ntile le bosi katari ntala baba i mala baba ntolo bosi in the mighty name of Jesus. You want to pray that the word of God tonight will bless your life. The Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 12, it says that and the word of God became flesh and dwelt amongst men. Hallelujah. And when the word of God becomes flesh in your life, it is even better than prophecy. It is better than prophetic word. It is better than anything. It is, it is your life. It is what you need for now, tomorrow, and forever. And so we're going to pray that the word of God will become tangible. You, you will be able to feel the word of God. That as the word of God comes tonight, it will fill your heart. It will fill your mind, your spirit. That you will walk in it and to overcome anything that is facing you or to face tomorrow. That is what you need. Hallelujah. That is your prayer. So just pray and say, the Lord, let your word fill me up tonight. Let my eyes be open to your word. Give me understanding of your word that will come tonight. Bless me through your word. That is your prayer. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. E baba ntolo busha tala baba ya katala baba E mala baba ntolo busha katala baba ya tiri ni busha tala baba E baba ntolo busha katala baba ya tiri ni busha tala E baba tala baba ntolo busha ndara baba Pray like your life depends on it. Indeed, your life depends on it. 
It is the bread that we need to live every day. Shakata. Let the word of God become flesh in our lives, O Lord. Open our spiritual ears to hear your word. Bless your word. Let your word carry power. Let your word carry anointing, O God. Let your word carry your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, reveal yourself to us through your word. Divine revelation and understanding, O God, of your word. Reveal yourself to us through your word, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. You want to pray your last prayer. You want to tell God that God will bless your life. If there's any particular issue that you go through, whatever that you need God to come through for you, maybe in the area of healing, deliverance, provision, whatever it is, you go and make that before the Lord. He said, Lord, this situation, I bring it before you. Come through for me in the mighty name of Jesus. That is your prayer. Let's say that what I'm going to Worship him as we invite men to be to choose the time of worship. Let's be the thunder, the Lord. Give him praise and glory for what he's about to do tonight for the things that he will forever do. The miracles, the signs, and wonders of the That God will give us us. Just begin to thank him, worship him, worship him, worship him, and bless his holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's just worship the King of Glory. We give you praise, Jesus.
and thousands, my beloved is the most beautiful amongst thousands and thousands, my beloved is the thousands my beloved is the most beautiful amongst thousands and thousands oh yes you
just lift your voices till the end is only you till we meet it's only you only you only you can we make that promise tonight oh only you are god till we meet it's only you god till the end is only you only you, only you, hey, only you are Lord. Just let your voice tell we me it's only you. Tell the end is only you. Only you, only you. Only Lift your voice and worship Jesus. Till we meet, it's only you. Till the very end, it's only you. Only you are God. Only you are God. I will serve the foreign God. Till we meet, it's only you. Till the end, it's only you. Somebody just lift your voice and worship the King of Glory. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Till we meet us only you. Till we meet us only you. Only you will stay in our lives. Only you we will worship Jesus. Only you we will bow down to. Only you we will serve, Lord. Only you, only you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. For in you we live. In you we move. In you we have our being. Only you, God. Only you. Only you, Jesus. Till the very end, only you. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Only you. I really want to stop this, but can you just lift your two hands to heaven and say, Jesus, only you tonight. No matter what it takes, no matter where I am, only you, I will stand firm in you tonight. Just lift your voice and make a promise unto your Father. We will stand in you, God. We will worship you. We will serve you, Jesus. Till the very end, Lord. Only you, only you. Audio. We will not be shaken. No, we will not be shaken. We will not be shaken. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, let's clap our hands and celebrate God. Amen. You may be seated in his presence. You're all welcome to tonight's service. God bless you, Minister Bindu, for that powerful time of worship. God bless you, Mr. Organist. God bless you. God bless you, Mr. All right, so uh, we're getting ready to hear the word of God. But before the word of God comes, there'll be a song ministration. And after the song ministration, the next voice you hear is the prophet. Hallelujah. So uh, I want us to welcome my brother, my friend, Pastor Rocky Solomon. Please keep clapping to make him feel welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Did you come here with an expectation tonight? Hallelujah. Oh, are you here with me? The scripture says where two or three are gathered, he is. Amen. The fact that you're here is enough. Come on and keep in God. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. 
we thank you Lord we thank you for your presence have your way Lord in Jesus name hallelujah amen and amen let's celebrate Jesus with a mighty clap offering and a mighty shout of praise a mighty mighty shout of praise give the Lord your voice right now yes Lord he deserves your voice he deserves your shout he deserves your shout he deserves your shout hallelujah amen and amen we want to thank God for what he's about to do we want to thank God for his presence we want to thank God for the many miracles that has already taken place in the service with a clap offering and a shout unto Jesus let's honor him and praise him one more time glory glory hallelujah amen help me thank my brother and thank God for him the senior pastor of the spirit of the Lord Church let's celebrate the presence of Reverend Dr. Solomon Akwaka let's thank God for him let's celebrate him oh Jesus we are also thanking God for his dear wife let's thank God for the first lady Lady Mavis let's thank God for her oh yes Lord hallelujah let's also thank God for the life of another great man of God Apostle Rocky Solomon let's thank God for him let's thank God for him let's show our love and appreciation amen please be seated Lady Bindu God bless you the worship was on top it was powerful hallelujah to Jesus hallelujah amen and amen Pastor Rocky Solomon, I think uh, we have to do a duet, yourself and myself. <laughs> because when I was backing you, I realized <laughs> I'm a very good backer. <laughs> so <laughs> we have to really plan it and uh, see what we can do together. Hallelujah. In the music ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. That was so powerful. That was so powerful. That was so powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for the Lord tonight? Thank you, Jesus. From Thursday, we have been teaching from Luke chapter 13, from verse 11 through to 13. Luke chapter 13, from verse 11 through to 13. And yesterday, we were still there. And tonight, we still want to be there. Hallelujah. We can't finish. We can't finish because the scripture is loaded. Thank you, Lord. Luke chapter 13, from verse 11 through to 13 and the bible says and behold there was a woman who had an infirmity for 13 years which had caused her to bow over and when jesus saw her he called her to himself and said woman thou art loosed from thine infirmity and jesus touched her and made her straight and she glorified God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Tonight, it is my prayer that God will give you cause to glorify him. Oh no, this amen is too weak. I said, may you have cause to glorify God in the name of Jesus Christ. Now from the scripture we read, the Bible says that Jesus was teaching in the synagogue. When you go to the pretest of the test, the Bible said that Jesus was teaching in the synagogue. Then all of a sudden, this woman entered. And when the woman entered, Jesus paused with her message and called the woman to himself. And Jesus spoke to the woman and said, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. Thou art loosed from dying infirmity and the bible says that and jesus laid his hand on her and straightened her up and the bible says that the woman glorified god and i said on thursday that there were many people in the synagogue many people in the temple why this particular woman why this particular woman for all you know there were many who had different kinds of sicknesses and diseases there were many who had different kinds of predicaments but why this particular woman and we learned that 
God has time for everyone. And we quoted from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, from verse 1, the Bible saying that there is time for everything, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. So God has time for everything and God has time for everyone. And that is why as believers, when we realize that our fellow believer has a miracle or God has given them a testimony or God has done something in their lives, we ought to rejoice with them. Are you hearing me, somebody? Because if someone's own came today, yours will also come tomorrow. Are you alive in this place at all? God has time for everyone. And I remember I said that God does things according to his calendar. And this calendar, this timing is not known to any man except God himself reveals it to us. And until he reveals that time, no man is preview to that time. Are you hearing me, somebody? And that is how come your enemies can never intercept what God has ordained to do in your life. Are you hearing me somebody this side alone is a cause for excitement because what god has for us is hidden from our enemies the other day the bible said eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered into the hearts of men what god is about to do for his people are you hearing me somebody so what god has for us the devil does not know the witches of our families do not know our enemies do not have a clue. Are you hearing me somebody? And that is how come they cannot stop what God has intended to do. That is why they cannot block or stand in the way of God because they don't have a clue. Look at your neighbor and say your enemies don't have a clue of what God has in store for you. Uh, or look at someone, touch them on the shoulder and tell them your enemies have no clue to what God has for you. Uh, are you hearing me somebody? And tonight, that which is hidden in the calendar of God, that which is hidden in the storehouse of God, God is about to release it over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The way you came is not the same way you will be going back home. Are you hearing me, somebody? And today, I presume, I feel in my spirit, it's a special day. Why? Because it was raining heavily and snowing heavily but you defied the snow you defied all the odds and still drove yourself to this place are you hearing me somebody and this God will never allow you to go back home the same you will never leave back home the same are you hearing me somebody because we all know how driving in the snow is very dangerous are you hearing me somebody but you do not look at the danger oh my god but you defied it and still came to the house of the lord god will not leave you the same god will surely do something god will surely deposit the blessing i see a deposit that is coming into your life in the name of jesus god is making a deposit god is making a deposit god is making a deposit and i trust god for your life tonight that god God will give you a testimony you've never said, a testimony that has never been heard in the assembly of God in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be that one that God has chosen to reveal his glory upon. May you be that man, that woman that God has selected. Are you hearing me, somebody? It is all about God's own election. The other day he said in the scriptures, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. Not that God hated Esau. Are you hearing me somebody? But it was within a contest that it is about my election. It's about whom I have chosen. Are you hearing me somebody? It, the will of God between Jacob and Joseph was all about 
Jacob. Are you hearing me, somebody? It was not about Esau, but about Jacob. Because at the end of the day, Jacob was blessed. Esau was also very much blessed. Are you hearing me, somebody? But it was Jacob that God had chosen. And tonight, may you be that one that God had chosen to show forth his glory in the name of Jesus. May you be that person that God had chosen to reveal his power in the name of Jesus. May your life be the life that God has intended to bless tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. May you live here tonight with an unusual blessing. May you live here tonight with an unusual power. May you live here tonight with an unusual grace. Lift your voice and shout unusual grace. Lift your voice and declare unusual grace. Lift your voice and shout unusual grace. Tonight, may the special grace of God locate your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May the grace of God that surpasses all understanding be revealed and be released over your life. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said, and Jesus called the woman to himself. I love that part. He called the woman to himself. He called the woman to himself. Tonight may Jesus call you to himself. May he cause your case to himself. May he call you to himself. May he call your marriage to himself. May he call your ministry to himself. May Jesus call you to himself in the name of Jesus Christ. And may you be that one Jesus will call. There were many in the building. There were many in the temple. But Jesus called this particular woman. May you be that particular person the Lord had chosen to bless and to favor in the name of Jesus. May you be that one the Lord has chosen to honor tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear in my spirit the word honorable, the word honorable, the word honorable. Say Yes, the Lord. I am bringing honor and I am going to make you honorable in your family. And the scripture that is coming to my spirit is the Bible says, and Jabez was an honorable man. Tonight, may God make you an honorable man. May he make you an honorable woman. May he make your family honorable. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the honor of God enter every area of your life in the name of Jesus Christ shout I am the chosen one 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 oh look to your neighbor and say neighbor I don't know about you but I am the one God that chosen for his blessing I am the one God that chosen for his honor I am the one God that chosen to exalt I want you to rise up and go to seven people in the building. Give them a high five and tell them I am the chosen one. Oh my God. I don't know about you, but I am the chosen one. I don't know about your family, but my family is the chosen family. I don't know about your marriage, but it is about my marriage. I am the one God I've chosen. I am the one God has selected. I am the one the Lord has intended to bless. I am the one. I, I am the one. Oh my God. I am the chosen one. It's all about me. It's all about my ministry. It's all about my children. I am the chosen one. Oh my God. He Tonight, say as the Lord, he has chosen me for a miracle. He has chosen me for a testimony. He has chosen me the Lord says to tell you, I am the one whom he has intended to bring that testimony through. I am that fellow. I am that woman. I am that man. God has intended to pass his blessing through. Are you hearing me, somebody? Minneapolis and Minnesota, get ready for the blessed man, the man that God has chosen, the woman that God has chosen. Get ready for us. In the name of Jesus, we are about to be 
revealed to the nations of the world. We are about to be revealed to North America. We are about to be revealed to the states in America. Are you hearing me, somebody? Say, I am about to be revealed. Say, I am about to be revealed. Lift your voice and shout, it is my time. Lift your voice and prophesy, it is my time. Say it is my season. Say it is my day. Say it is my time. Say it is my season. When the woman entered the building, God spoke to his son Jesus. And Jesus looked at her and realized that this is the one Jesus. This is the one God is talking about. Are you hearing me, somebody? And Jesus called the woman to himself and said, Woman, thou art loose. That means that woman, from today you are delivered. Woman, from today you are set free. Woman, from today you are liberated. Anything that holds you bound, anything that holds you to be bent over, anything that has caused you to suffer this pain, this sickness, this disease, this predicament, it is over with that pain. Are you hearing me, somebody? And immediately the woman was made whole. Tonight, we command you by the word of God, be set loose, be delivered, be liberated by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus we declare thou art loose we declare thou art loose we declare thou art loose in the name of Jesus shout and say I am loose shout and say I am loose shout and say I am loose in Psalm 34 verse 19 the Bible said many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers them from it all Tonight I see that the power of Jesus is bringing deliverance your way on every side of your life. In the name of Jesus, anything that holds you bound, anything that holds you in poverty, anything that holds you down, anything that holds to your marriage, anything that holds on to your ministry, anything that holds on to your health, the Lord says, thou art loosed, thou art loosed, thou art loosed loosed thou art loosed thou art loosed i see in the spirit freedom is released your freedom is released your freedom is released the freedom of your family is released the freedom of your kids are released in the name of jesus your soul is free your body is free your spirit is free shout and say i am free shout and say i am free clap your hands and make a joyful noise unto the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Say, I am free. Shout, I am free. Shout, I am free. Shout, I am free. Oh my God. Indeed, you are living here as a free agent. You are living here as a free agent. You are living here as a free agent. When Jesus said to the woman, thou art loser, the spirit that had held her down broke loose and then Jesus made her straight. Are you hearing me, somebody? Every crooked part in your life, the Lord is making it straight. Every crooked part in your life, every crooked part in your business, every crooked part in your marriage, the power of Jesus is making you straight in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, shout in the name of Jesus. I am being made straight. Say my life is being made straight. Say my family is being made straight. Say my ministry is being made straight. Say every crooked part in my life is being made straight by the power of the Lord. Clap your hands and give him praise if you believe in his word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see straight, 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 straight. I see order in your life. I see order in your family. I see order in your finances. Oh my God. Anything that is holding your finances down, tonight the power of Jesus is breaking that thing 
lose. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see your finances is rising. Your health is rising. Your marriage is rising. Your ministry is rising. In the name of Jesus, I hear in my spirit, arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of God is revealed upon you. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you, I see you arising. You are arising. You are arising. You are arising. Every area of your life that was down is rising up. The woman was bent over, but when Jesus spoke to her, she was made straight. Are you hearing me, somebody? I see in the spirit that the Lord is strengthening your life. You are rising again. You are rising again. Your health is bouncing back. Your business is bouncing back. Your finances is bouncing back. Your marriage is bouncing back. Your dreams and aspirations are bouncing back. Your destiny is bouncing back. Shout and say, I am bouncing back. Shout and say, I am bouncing back. Shout and say, I am bouncing. Oh my God. Oh my God. This time around, nothing can stop us from bouncing back. Why? Because it is Jesus himself who is holding us to straighten us. He is the one holding us to stretch us. He is the one holding us to make us straight. Are you hearing me, somebody? I said it is Jesus Christ himself. We command by the word of God, let every crookedness be made straight in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every crookedness we command your soul to be loose, your spirit to be loose, your finances to be loose, your children to be loose, your family to be loose in the name of Jesus. Declare, I am loose. Declare, I am loose. Declare, I am set loose. Oh my God. That was the end of her predicament tonight may something come to an end i said may a negativity in your life come to an end may a negative order come to an end may a negative cycle come to an end in the name of jesus may something from the pit of hell that has been contending your soul all these years come to an end in the name of jesus May you break out of it. Shout and say, I am breaking out. Oh, 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 declare and say, I am breaking. Shout break. Shout break. Shout break. Shout break. Shout break. I didn't say say break. If I say say, then you can go like break. But I say shout. The Bible says, since the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And it takes the violence to have it by force. Are you hearing me, somebody? Lift your voice and shout break. Lift your voice and declare break. Lift your voice and pray break. In the name of Jesus. Say right now. Say right now, by the word of the Lord, I am breaking out from every confinement, every place of confinement in the name of Jesus. Say anything that holds me down, anything that holds my family down, I command it to break. Say break. Say break. Say break. Say break. Say break. Say right now, by the word of the Lord. Say by the word of the Lord. Say by the word of the Lord. Any Asian case in my father's house, in my mother's house, from my lineage, by the word of God, I command you in the name of Jesus. Break! 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 Say right now, in the name of Jesus, any evil from my family background, right now, by the word of God, I command it in the name of Jesus. Break! 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 
say in the name of Jesus, anything from the pit of hell that holds on to my progress by the word of God, I command that pain, bread, 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 in the name of Jesus, say right now, any evil in my finances that holds my finances right now, by the word of the Lord, I command you, in the name of Jesus, break, break, break. Say in the name of Jesus, right now, anything that holds on to my marital life, in the name of Jesus, by the word of the Lord, I command you, break, break, break. Say right now, anything that holds on to my glory by the word of God in the name of Jesus, I command you break, break, break in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm breaking out. Say, I'm breaking out. Say, I'm breaking out. Begin to walk about in the building and declare, I'm breaking out. I am breaking out. Just walk about. Just walk about. Just walk about. Just walk in the building. Just walk about and declare you are breaking out. You are breaking out. You are breaking out. You are breaking out. Yes, Lord. Command the breakout. Command the breakout. Command the breakout on every side of your life, in your ministry. Anything that is holding on to the glory of your ministry. Command the breakout. Command the breakout. Anything holding on to the lives of your children. Command the Break out, break out, break out, break anything holding on to your health. Command the breakout, command the breakout, command the breakout, command the breakout, command the breakout. Yes, Lord, lose your children, break them out, break your husband out, break your wife out, break your siblings out, break your family out, break your soul out, break your finances out, break your health out yes come out we command you to come out we command your soul to come out yes let your soul come out any place you have been confounded any place your destiny has been confounded any place right now we command you to come out 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 anywhere the enemy kept you anywhere the enemy kept your progress anywhere they kept your glory anywhere they kept your success anywhere they kept your ministry any oh my god my god my god something is breaking a chain is breaking a shackle is breaking you are coming out you are coming out you are coming out you are coming out you are breaking 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 out break yourself out in the might of Jehovah in the name of Jesus the Bible said let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Lift your voice and declare your breakout. Declare your freedom. Declare you are loose. Declare your liberty. In the name of Jesus, lift up the prayer. Right now, I command in the name of Jesus, my family, out, 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 out. Let my children out, 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 out of every shackles, every chase. In the name of Jesus, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. In the name of Jesus, come out right now, 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 come out right now. Yes, Lord, I see you are coming out. Your children are coming out. I see your grandchildren coming out. I see your finances coming out. I see your marriage coming out. I see your breakthrough coming out. I see your aspirations and dreams coming out. You are coming out now. You are coming out now. You are coming out now. Yes, Lord. You are coming out. 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 
Yes, Lord. Declare your freedom. Declare your emancipation. Declare emancipation over your family. Declare emancipation over your finances, over your job, over your businesses. Declare emancipation. Declare your freedom. Declare your liberty. Declare the freedom of your organs. The freedom of your organs. The freedom of, your organs, the freedom of all your organs. All the organs in your your body, your heart, your kidneys, your lungs, your pancreas, right now, your intestines, every organ in your body, declare liberty, declare freedom, declare freedom in the name of Jesus. The Bible said, a man shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Declare your freedom, declare your liberty, declare your freedom, declare your liberty, declare your freedom. Now, 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 oh my God. Now, 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 declare he goes shut up a higher rabba ziba loot take a higher. And Jesus said to the woman, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity, and that was the end. Tonight we declare we are loosed from every form of infirmity. We are loosed from every form of opposition. We are loosed from every form of witchcraft. We are loosed from every demonic assignment. We are loosed from every attempt over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Remo a pragadoske, he malianta kavahai, he brandoske branta, he malava shada bahaya, rabba leke vaduske, he meluska branta, he malava shada bahaya, rabba ba ye keba, le maluska branta, he meluska branta, he belede de ete havahai, he malava shada dahaya, he malianta haya. Now turn your prayer into thanksgiving right now <laughs> and thank god for your deliverance and thank god for the deliverance of your family thank god for the deliverance of your children <laughs> thank god for your grandchildren thank god for your liberty thank god for your freedom thank god for your finances thank god for your health thank god for what he has instituted tonight through your prayer in the name of jesus give him glory give him glory Give him glory, 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 give him glory. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Okay. Hallelujah. Say, I am free. 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 Say, my children are free. Say, my children are free. Say, my grandchildren are free. Say, my grandchildren are free. In the name of Jesus. Say, I am free. I don't know whether you've realized this thing about me. If you follow us on the prayer line on every Wednesday, or if you follow me on my Facebook prayer every day, you realize that when I lift up prayer, I make sure you pray on every side. Even you pray for the next generation yet unborn. Are you hearing me, somebody? Uh -huh. Some of us, if our, pray, our parents pray some of these prayers for us, we wouldn't have struggled, they wouldn't struggle. I'm telling you, if you don't want your children to struggle and your grandchildren to come and struggle, secure them before they come. Yesterday, I lifted the scripture here when Jesus said, Peter, the devil had wanted to kill you, but I prayed for you. That means that because prayer preceded the attempt of the enemy, Peter was rescued. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. So when prayer goes ahead, things are secured in the spirit. Tonight, you are secured. No, you didn't hear. I said you are secured. Your children are secured. Your finances is secure. Your dreams and aspirations are secure. Your grandchildren are secure. Your great great grandchildren are secure. In the name of Jesus. 
Say right now, things are working for me. Say they are working for my favor. Say they are working for my favor. Say they are working for my favor. Say favor is on my side. Say the glory of God is on my side. Say the blessings of God on my side. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say favor. Or lift your voice and shout favor. Or lift your voice and declare favor. Or lift your voice and scream favor. I see angels in the house. I see angels in the house. He brought no sleeper heights. Say, touch me, Lord. Oh, say, touch me, Lord. Say, touch me, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My sister, come. I said I was going to pray for you today. Thank you, Lord. I said I was going to pray for you today. Thank you, Lord. Father, bless this oil and use it to God. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray for our sister. In the spirit, there is a meeting that has gone on. And the meeting that went on is against the work of a hand. The Lord showed me two different videos. The first video, I saw the meeting. And the meeting was a conspiracy against her job and that she was going to make a mistake that is unusual it is it is not something that she could have even ever thought she would make but spiritually i saw in the spirit that something would just enter her and she will make that mistake and this mistake in spiritual realm is supposed to bring about a demotion in her life. Then I saw the next video. In the next video, the Lord was showing me the reason why. Because I saw this lady shaking the hands of the president of her country in the spirit. And the Lord said, this one is divine connection. This one is divine honor and favor. And that is how come that meeting went on for her to make that mistake so they could intercept that honor that is coming her way. But the Lord says we should lift up prayer against any meeting that has gone on in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Please rise to God. We want to clap and pray for our sister that God will show her mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because shaking that was coming for president it's a shaking that will lift her to the next level. It is promotion. And I'm seeing in the spirit that this still lies within five years ahead of her. Within five years ahead of her. Within five years ahead of her. Stretch your hand and say, Lord Jesus, as we clap and pray, let any evil meeting that has gone on against the destiny of your daughter be overridden in the name of Jesus any discussions that went on anything they agreed upon against your daughter let that agreement be overridden in the name of Jesus clap your hands and pray for her now 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 Oh, please pray for her. Take her like your sister. Her like your friend. And labor in prayer for her. Yes, Lord. 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 Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter.
scatter. Let them be scattered. Let the agreement be scattered. Let the agreement be scattered. Let the agreement be scattered. Right now, right now, Holy Ghost. 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 He balus caprantos. He belianta cavatu te ke fatiatai. He pranos kebranta haya. He balava shada da vahaya. In the name of Jesus. My sister, can I pour oil on your head? Please push your, your hair cover back for me. Let it go back. Good. We anoint your hair. Thank you, The Lord says I should pour oil in your palm. Please take it. Rub it. Rub it. Rub it. And rub your face. Just rub your face. Rub your face. Take more and rub your face. Rub your face. Rub your face. Rub your face. I see in the spirit. The Lord said, I made you rub your face because I am changing your countenance tonight. And when the spirit has come, that wall that has been assigned to do that thing through you, when they come, they will not find you. Because your face is changed tonight. 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 We now surround you with the precious blood of Jesus. Precious blood at your shoulders. We surround you by the precious blood of Jesus. 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 Blood of Jesus. And we command this order. The order to be overtaken in the name of Jesus we overturn it I see the angels of the Lord are going about the business of the Father and I see that things are changing right now I just saw fire was released into that set and that agreement and the law said they are consumed and the agreement is consumed tonight will not allow you to be disgraced. You will not be disgraced. You will not be disgraced. He will not disappoint you. God of Dukes of Fellowship, arise and let your enemies scatter. Let your enemies scatter. Let this scatter. Let your enemies scatter. Let your enemies scatter. phase of your life has been staged in the spirit and as the Lord has secured it in the spirit it shall happen to you according to the time of life within five years this elevation has come your way it 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 has your hand, so will you shake your president for your elevation, for your exhortation, for your lifting, for your promotion, for your next level. In the name of 
Jesus. Your enemies are disappointed. Your enemies are disappointed. Your enemies are disappointed. Oh my God. Your enemies are disappointed. In Jesus' name. You are also in the house. One prophecy is for all. If you are also in the house and there is something that is being done against your job and your position, tonight may the Lord overcome it. I said may the Lord overcome it. Oh, I said may the Lord overcome it. Hallelujah. My brother, please come. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I am blessed. Oh, prophesy, I am blessed. Oh, I want you to prophesy, I am blessed. My brother, can I pour oil on your feet? Okay, please help your shoes and your socks. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The oil. In the name of Jesus, I anoint your feet with oil. Take it. As I see, I do. Now give me oil. Step into my path. Bring this one to me. The Lord says to tell you, from tonight, I have prepared your feet for a new ground. A new ground. A new ground. And I hear in my spirit, a higher ground. A higher ground. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord said, when you step in my palm, it was not the palm of man, but it was my own palm, says the Lord. And the Lord said, it is for you to be catapulted, to be lifted to your next dimension. The Lord said, You see, the woman with the alabaster bones that poured oil on the feet of Jesus, there was a significance to that. And it's a sermon for a different day. The Lord said, as your feet has been anointed with fine oil and with precious oil, from today, your feet will never be the same again. God is about to take you places you've never entered in your life. You are about to enter into some doors you've never entered. You are about to occupy some positions you've never occupied. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now the Lord says, I should watch this. And I'm watching it. And I'm watching and I keep on watching and I see you walking. And while you were walking, you were walking a green grass. A green grass. And I saw in the spirit, the grass was very green. And when you lift your head, I, you see very far. And the, everywhere is very green. And the Lord says to tell you, from today, as I lead you on that greener process, progress is something you would not struggle to get. The Lord is telling me, the color green stands for progress. The Lord is saying, progress on every side. On every side of your life. I see many people coming on the grass. Many people. Many people. And to most of them, I'm seeing in the spirit, there were people that were in tattered clothing. People in tattered clothing. People who looked very rudy in life. But when they got on the grass, they had hope. And most of them, just when they got on the grass, their dresses they were putting on removed and a new one came on them. The law says, I should tell you, I'm going to use you to bring hope to many people in this life. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can I prophesy? Ibalata gavas. Ibredoski vahaya. The Lord says, I should tell you, your destiny, you are not someone who is supposed to work for people. People are supposed to work for you. I don't know what you do now, but go and begin to pray and ask God for what you must do. Because God is telling me you must do something of your own which you will employ many. And that was the hope you were giving to humanity. That was the life you were giving to people. And many that followed you walked on the green grass. Their lives became better. Can I pour oil on your head? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I anoint him now. Let me ask permission before. This oil I'm asked to pour will soil your shirt. Are you? I should go ahead. I love it. I anoint you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And we command the release. Let there be a release, a divine release. A divine release. A divine release. The Lord is telling me to tell you. As the oil drips down from your hair to your go to your, your, your shirts and everywhere. The Lord, that is it. The Lord says, I should tell you. Anyone that will try to take your life, they will go in your place. Because as I am speaking right now, I am seeing the face of a woman who is standing by your mother. And when I say the person is standing by your mother, it presupposes the person is in your mother's family. I'm not hearing the name of the person. And even if I heard it, I wouldn't have told you. I'm not hearing the name, but I can describe how the person looks like. Watch this. I am seeing in the spirit, this woman has made two attempts on your life. Two attempts on your life. There was a time after that attempt, you even had a dream. And in the dream, a funeral was going on in the dream. There was another time you had a dream and you saw someone who had already died in the family. There were indications of what the woman was doing. And those things were the things that God was revealing to you that this is what the devil is after. But the Lord says to, today, because of how I, the Lord, have made you to become, anyone that try your life will go in your place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My spirit has been lifted to Psalm 91 verse 16. Say yes, the Lord, I will satisfy you with long life. Father, glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. This ointment, this oil that has come on your feet from today, you will take steps of blessings. Say yes, the Lord. Anything that held you back, any spirit of setback and stagnation is broken. I want you to walk to that side and come back. Come back again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And go back again. And come back again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And go back again. Every chain of setback is broken. In the name of Jesus. By this prophetic action, you are liberated. And you are now set on that pedestal the Lord has lifted you up to. Nothing can bring you down. Nothing. 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 You are blessed. Listen. I want you to find money. Find money. Find a seed. And go to an orphanage and give it to them. I believe there are orphanages in Minnesota. Yes, find one. Go there, just go and do, give them money and go back. Something will happen in the spirit for you. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. My daughter, come. 
You are looking so beautiful. I like the way you've tied your, your hair. The scarf on your hair. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I like your, is this one braids or is braids? Or, is, or locks? This one is locks. Ah, uh, okay. Can I pour oil on your hair? Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says we should pray for in the spirit I saw something that they were arranging I don't know, you know um, this thing children play with they call it Lego or Logo or whatever those things, yes uh -huh. I saw they were arranging it and they were arranging and when they arrange it it's so beautiful but something will just enter into it and the thing breaks down and they arrange the thing again and something enters into it and it breaks down and the Lord says we must stop that thing because her destiny and her life is supposed to be very beautiful now I don't know what she's doing now but the Lord is speaking to my ears to tell the family daddy and mommy let this daughter of yours go into nursing let her go into nursing and as she, she enters into nursing 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 I'm talking about the health sector let her go into the health sector. Even if it's whatever she wants, the health sector. I'm not just saying nursing, but I'm talking about the health sector. Whether faculty, uh, 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 medical, in the health sector. Because in the spirit, that is where her destiny is connected to. If you make a mistake and she missed this one, that is the only way the enemy will get access to break her destiny. Because in the spirit, whilst I was looking at the thing, she will come to a crossroad and she will be, she, she will find herself in a place of dilemma. She, she wouldn't know whether to go left or right. But tonight, the Lord is settling that matter that she should enter into that health area. And as she enters there, I'm speaking in the spirit within a space of 12 years you will see what will happen with her life and with that path she chose to. what are you doing now you are a student you are in the high school you are in the high school so after high school what do you want to do you are going to go into the healthcare okay so that is what you want to do excellent you have chosen right it is the Lord who is leading you I see her feet in the spirit and I'm seeing her walking into the white house how it will happen I don't know but the Lord just told me look at her feet going to the white house Stretch your hand and say, Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Because you have revealed, fulfill it now. In the name of Jesus. Say, any assignment of the enemy that would want to break her, let that assignment be aborted. Clap your hands and pray for her now. Pray for her now. Pray for her now. Pray for her now. Yes, Lord. Pray for her now. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We bind every assignment of the enemy. We bind every assignment of the enemy. We bind every assignment of the enemy. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. And we now declare that the Lord will surround you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord just took my spirit to Psalm 34 verse 7. And I hear in my spirit 
he said the angel of the lord and goes round and about those who fear the lord the lord said i have given an angel charge over her life and over her destiny to secure her to surround her and to ensure that everything she does will go according to my plan say yes the lord from tonight your life is secure your destiny is secured in the name of jesus you are blessed you are blessed in jesus name god bless you celebrate jesus pastor rocky pastor rocky can i can i pray for you thank you holy spirit our time is up. We are closing right now. Please hold my hand. And please touch this side of your stomach. This side of your stomach. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will talk to you after the service. But the Lord wanted to do something for for a woman I'm seeing standing close by you say in the name of Jesus any evil arrangement of the enemy against that woman let it be destroyed clap your hands and pray for her Clap your hands and pray for her. Please clap your hands and pray for her. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, arise. And let every enemy be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. We will talk about the woman after the service. The Lord has given me a name. So I will ask you to ask her about the name. Because spiritually I am seeing that it has been done. That this woman I am talking about will have a problem from this side of her stomach. And I'm seeing in the spirit that this thing that is about to happen was to affect something. Was to affect something. I don't want to talk about. But I will tell you after the service. But the Lord says to tell you tonight anything that was projected against that woman standing by you on that side of her stomach is retained. It is retained. It is retained. It is retained. In the name of Jesus. Man of God, I'm seeing a light, a light, a light, a light. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You see how sometimes when you go to the cinema, there may be many people standing on the stage, but they will throw a particular light around one person. I don't know, is it, is it a spotlight or whatever? Yes, I see in the spirit that you are standing in the midst of so many people, but that light has been thrown on you, and the light have just circled you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord said, As the light has circled you, so have I, the Lord, singled you out to be showcased. In the name of Jesus. From April number one to April number three, enter into a three days fast. As you enter into the three days fast, within the fast, the Lord will speak some things to your spirit, and some things will come to you in the spirit. I see in the spirit there is a major breaking out.
Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are receiving a call. A call is coming. After that major breakout, you are receiving a call. I see the call is coming. I see the call is coming. I see the call is coming. But the call is coming from somebody. You already know the person. I can't say it now, but I will tell you later. The call is coming from somebody. And I am seeing in the spirit. This person is one of those. One of the many who left your life. They are coming in serious regret. When they saw the way God had elevated you, they had to come back. They are coming back. But this comeback would not yield to anything because the person has already lost his place. We pray the covering of Jehovah over your life and over your ministry. And we declare, may that spotlight remain on you. In Jesus' name. Celebrate the Lord. Hello, my sister. Via is here. Are you cold? <laughs> you enjoy yourself. Can I get the oil? Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know what I want you to do? I don't know whether it's possible. Like if you could go to the washroom after the service and apply the oil on yourself from your face to your hands to your legs on your stomach on your chest. Just apply the oil. You understand what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. I'm talking about this oil. So you do it before you leave. When you go home, don't shower. Just sleep with the oil. In the spirit, there is something that God is instituting. And that thing shall manifest on the flesh. And all eyes will see and know that indeed you serve a living God. Are you ready to buy a house? To own your own house? Are you sure? You are very sure. Okay. How it will happen, I don't know. But you are going to own your own house. And it will not just be a house. Where's your husband? I don't want to say because people's lives are their lives. There's so many things I don't want to say. But what you want is what God will do for you. You want it back. <laughs> no. Maybe she doesn't want it back. Maybe she wants another marriage. Then we connect it. Because the Lord asked me to ask you. That is what I'm asking. Do you want him back or you want a new one? You want him back. Okay. Is it the voice of the people or is your heart? It's your heart. Are you sure? You are sure? Okay. Father, you heard your daughter. She says she wants him back. Wherever he is, we command him to come back. Now, let me ask this question. Where you from? Okay. What God has joined together, let no man put us in there. Father, that is your word. Therefore, my sister, why are you standing? Do you also want us back? You are standing for him. God bless you. Stretch your hand on her. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, wherever the husband is, let him come back to the house. 
you asked me to ask her that means that there is something you wanted to do about her marriage father in jesus name bring him back bring him back bring him back bring him back for the heart of the king is in your hand father turn his heart to the favor of the wife in the name of jesus let him return 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 and now we declare let what god is doing be sustained in your life every blessing that god is bringing your way we command it to come we command it to manifest we command it to be revealed and now we declare the favor of god that brings about attraction may god attract may he attract yes lord the Lord give you your own house, your own house, your own house, your own house, your own house. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed with your own house. You are blessed with your own house. You are blessed in Jesus name. Can I hold your hand? Father in Jesus name. Do it, Lord. Amen. Oh, Say, I am blessed. Or oh, lift your voice and declare, I am blessed. Sister, did you come? You remember the conversation we had about South, is it South Carolina or where? California. The Lord is speaking now. Stay here. I talk to you. You may not like it, but you have to take it. Because the Lord is telling me to tell you to hold on to it. Because He, God, has something for you in this city. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says, I should lift up my head. I lifted up my head and I saw in three years, in three years, in three years, in three years, what God is about to do for you on this land. I'm seeing you walking in a plantation and the plantation is full of like a fruit plantation fruit plantation and all the fruit are ripe for harvest and the lord said within these three years is your years of harvest everything you have labored for everything you have toiled for everything you have suffered for say yes the lord it is time for a bumper harvest listen to me the Lord is telling me to tell you look for a seed I'm not hearing any about but a seed that will touch your heart and sow it in the life of a man of God you believe in his ministry I'm not hearing any name let God lead you as you do this don't say anything when you have sown this don't say anything because spiritually the day you will do that thing as we are speaking now, heaven will connect to it and the covenant will be established. If I be a prophet of God within three years, look at three years of your life and you will see the kind of wealth we will amass on this land. I speak as a prophet of God. May the law Can I pour oil on your legs? Not on your feet, on your legs. Fold your trousers up. Thank you for this the Lord said, look at her legs. Yes. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, I have done what you asked me to do right now. Let it manifest. 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 Walk around in this building right now, quickly. Walk very fast, because my time is up. Very, very fast. I hear in the spirit. Wherever the foot of your feet shall tread, 
I, the Lord, will give that place unto you. From tonight. From tonight. In the name of Jesus. From tonight. Oh my God, what is this? I'm seeing a rain falling in the spirit. I'm seeing rain is falling in the spirit. And the Lord said, it's a rain of blessing. It's a rain of glory. It is a rain of blessing and glory. Father, we thank you for what you have done. In three years, if I be a prophet of God, you will come and talk to me. In Jesus' name, God bless you. It is done. I see a rain of blessing falling on everyone in this place. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. It's a rain of and a rain of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I am blessed. Lift your voice and declare, I am blessed. Lift your voice and declare, I am blessed in the name of Jesus. I see your testimony is granted. I said your testimony. Ah, I'm closing. Please stand to your feet. I'm closing right now. But mommy, mommy, I see an angel embrace you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Stand. I saw an angel just embraced you. Can I pour oil, oil on you? your shoulder in the name of Jesus let this embrace bring into her life your will and your purpose in the name of Jesus I'm hearing in my spirit it is time to walk in your higher places say yes to Lord mama you know what is called money do you know what is money? Money, you know money. You know money. Wonderful. Whenever the prophet asks a question, the question leads somewhere. Not that you don't know, but the Lord said, ask her whether she knows money. That is what I'm asking. You say you know money. Okay. Give me oil. Have you seen a counting machine before? A counting machine that counts money. The one they use in the bank. You've seen it before. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see in the spirit that the counting machine is in your room. And you are counting money. The Lord said wealth is coming your way. Wealth creation. Wealth creation. Ah, wealth creation. Receive it now. Name of Jesus. Brother Michael, please. I prayed for you yesterday. Let me pray for you again. Please come quickly. Please, 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 please. please. Give me oil. The Lord said, You are also going to enjoy this wealth. Wealth creation. Wealth is coming your way. Whatever you had, which left your hand, is coming in the multiple fold. Open your palm for me. Oh Jesus, give me more oil. Can I apply more oil? Pastor Solomon, I'll finish your oil tonight. Pastor Solomon, the oil is finished. I'm finishing it tonight. Oh Jesus, my time is up at the way. Things are happening right now. The Lord said there is wealth creation. Wealth creation. Any money that left your hand is coming in multiples. I'm seeing a spirit whose height is like this. And I'm seeing several of them. The Lord says, tonight, those spirits are living your life. 
because I'm seeing that they came to destroy your finances. I'm seeing you in the spirit. You were in a royal apparel. And the royal apparel was removed. But the Lord says it is coming back. The Lord said it is coming back. The Lord said it is coming back. And the Lord is showing me the essence of that apparel. Can I lay my hand on your head, please? I've not laid hand on anybody. I think you'll be the second since I came to America. I don't lay hands on people. Holy Spirit. When I laid my hand on you, I saw something is broken. Ah, my brother. You were in the royal apparel. The Lord is telling me. of yours. This man of yours. I see restoration coming in multiplications. Anything you had before that you lost. Any money you had before that you lost. The Lord said it is coming back. How it will happen I don't know. He's not revealing that one. But it is coming back. I see wealth. I see wealth. I see wealth. I see wealth. I see the angel of the Lord putting that royal cloak on you again. And the Lord said, It is back. 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 I hear the word restitution. I will restitute you. Say yes the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Restore and restitute. To your own glory in heaven. In Jesus name. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. If I have not prayed for you. Come. Let's let you come. First lady, if I don't pray for you, I think she will fight me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But one thing about me is when I have not seen, I, I don't say yes. But by your supplication, I declare that may God grant your desire. First lady is doing a special work in this house. And now, when I'm not around, she's standing in the gaps every day. And tonight I pray for fresh oil. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch your head. May he touch your forehead. May he touch your eyes. May he touch your lips. May he touch your nose. May he touch your ears. May he touch all your senses. In the name of Jesus. I don't know the size of shoe you wear. But the Lord says I should remove my shoe for you to put your leg inside. This thing. I'm about to do I've done it only once in 20 year, 21 years of my ministry and that was when I was pastoring my first church in a place called La Paz in Ghana and that one God made me do it for a boy who had been bound by his own father because the father was into serious fetishism and the guy went to secondary school, high school and he got to know Jesus. He encountered Jesus. And he left those things. 
And the father was waiting that he died so that the boy would take after him. Because the father was the chief priest in their village, in the Volta region. So they brought the guy to her all night. And when they brought him, they told me, God didn't reveal it to me, they told me, he said, Prophet, you have to pray for our son. I said, what is his problem? He said, he's been writing his high school exams for five times. He never gets to pass. But the guy is so intelligent. So I said, okay, bring him tomorrow for tomorrow's service. I was going to inquire of the Lord. So when I went into inquiring, the Lord told me that spiritually, the father wants him to take and that is why the father wants him to fill the exam. Because when he part and keeps on going to school, you see, when you are educated and enlightened, some things you don't want to connect yourself. So the boy will come. And that is why he's failing the exam. So whenever it's time for the exams, where is he? He can't study. Then the Lord said, remove your shoes and make him put his legs in. The guy's legs were bigger than mine. He's taller than me. His height is like Pastor Rocky. The guy, I removed my shoes. I made him remove his. He put his leg in my shoes. And he fell under the power of God. When he stood up, that was the end of that covenant. I didn't pray for him. The Lord just asked him to put his legs in my shoes. But this time around, put your leg in my shoes. An anointing will fall on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God will be from another dimension. If I be a prophet of God, may the Lord honor my words. In the name of Jesus, put your legs in my shoes. Daddy, can I pour oil on you? My son, please come. Mommy, also come. Please come. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. And I declare that by the power of the Holy Spirit, may your coming to this service release a testimony you've never shared. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. First lady, come. Lift your hands. Father, I declare. do for her what no man can do. Let there be an impartation right now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Fresh oil, fresh power, unusual grace. Take it now. I hear in my spirit, out of your bellies shall flow rivers of living waters from tonight. Let your bellies flow with rivers of living waters. Holy Ghost, take over now. Yes. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father of God. Shift her. Into another realm. In the name of Jesus. Shift her. Shift her. Shift her. Shift her ministry. Shift her. Shift her life. Shift her. Shift her ministry. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. 
Say, Lord, we thank you for what you have established tonight. In the name of Jesus, begin to thank God and bless him for the service. Thank God for these two nights. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. My time is up and I'm feeling a strong presence. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sandra, come from the back. Please come. Yes. Please come. Oh, Jesus. We have closed. The service is closed. We have closed. Hold my hand. In the name of Jesus. Please give me the oil. Oh, Jesus. Please come. When we are done and you want to give an offering, you can give an offering from your heart. Anything. So, woman of God, you can put the offering go somewhere. When we are done, when we close and you want to give an offering, no problem. There is a strong presence in this place. And tonight, we are all not living here the same, my God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Ejam ebodi asida ay 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 
Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for an encounter with you like never before. And we thank you for the shiftings. We thank you for the displacement of the enemy in our lives. We thank you for the inner workings of the spirit within us that will propel us to greater heights. And we thank you for every word that was released tonight. We thank you that, oh God, you are hastening to perform every word in the name of Jesus, to bring to pass your very words and the oracle of God. And that our lives have been enriched. Our lives have been impacted. Our spirit beings have been resurrected. And we will, God, rise and fulfill our prophetic calling and destiny in the name of Jesus. Now, oh God, as we depart from this place, let angelic beings usher and drive us to our various destinations in the name of jesus we secure our going back home in the name of jesus and we declare that this week and beyond is blessed this week and beyond is anointed this week and beyond we have been crowned with grace and great graciousness to to succeed and in everything that we do we glorify your name and now may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you may the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace may you know shalom even in the name of jesus in every aspect of your life may we may you encounter shalom in everything that you do this week in jesus name Amen. God bless you. Please, Doxa Prayer Fellowship, we meet here every Mondays and Thursdays from 6 till 8. Um, because of this revival, tomorrow we will not meet, we will rest tomorrow. But on Thursday in the evening at 6 to 8, we will be here. God bless you for always being a part. We have a prayer line. We have a prayer line. If you don't have the prayer line number, please come to us and we'll give you the number. Every Wednesdays, we're on the prayer line from um, 11 p.m. till 12 a.m. Uh -huh. And every Monday to Friday, I'm on Facebook Live for prayer between 11 and 11.30. 11 if you have an offering, you have an offering. You have an offering. You want to sow into the fellowship? You have an offering, please. You can drop it. Maybe you don't have cash. You want to um, do Zelle or cash up anything. Uh -huh. You can do it. God bless you. God bless you. Hello, my name is Pastor.